Bar plots are used to summarize data about categorical variables. Suppose we did a survey of 50 friends to identify what their favorite colors were. That data could easily be put into a frequency table in the following way. So the colors were blue, pink, green, red, and yellow. Uh, the, relative, the frequency for each of those were 5, 15, 11, 10, and 9. No data frame then can, represent, can display that data in a nice table. The colors and the frequency are listed as columns in the data frame. In its simplest form, bar plot, a command in R, simply takes a numerical variable, remember we had built frequency before, and shows graphically how big each one of those values were. The option in bar plot that produces the names of the bars is called names.arg the arguments for the names. Remember that we had already produced a vector called colors that contained the categorical values of pink, of blue, pink, green, red, and yellow. So when we make names.arg equal to that vector, then it puts these names down here. This script will be easier to read in the, uh, in the handout. But what it's saying is that we're going to do bar plot the frequency, remember, is the list of the frequencies. We've put in the names for each one of the bars. We've added another option called main, which is going to be the title of this particular plot. The X lab or the X label is favorite colors. The Y lab is frequency. Color interest, we decided to color all the bars uh, a light gray. Again, this script will be easier to read in the handout, but uh, suppose that we wanted to have, instead of a, a frequency presentation here, we wanted to have a relative frequency, or maybe the relative frequency is percents. We can modify that frequency vector in the following way. I'm going to just sum the vector so that will tell me the total number. Of course, this is going to be 50. We knew that already. And then we'll build a new vector called percent. It will take that frequency vector, multiply each item in that frequency vector by 100, and then divide each one of those items by that total. So that converts all of those values to percents. Now when we do the bar plot, we'll do the bar plot of percents instead of frequency. The names are still going to be the same down here. Uh, the title now is, and maybe I should have called that the percent, um, <clears> the <throat> favorite colors for 50 friends. And uh, over here in the Y label, it's going to be percents now. And of course, these are still going to be favorite colors. Just because we can, um, I've made this one final observation, color, can actually accept a vector uh, and color each one of these uh, bars separately. So since we already had the vector colors that was naming what those colors were, when we put that in there, then it colors each of the bars the respective color. Okay, that's the idea with bar plots. Pretty easy stuff.